Wait, Annalise, I swear to God. Okay, real quick before I get started with this episode of How to Get Away with Murder, don't forget that you can get the full uncut, unedited reactions to How to Get Away with Murder on my Patreon. The link will be at the top of the description, so if you want to rewatch these episodes along with me in their entirety as well as get them early, definitely check it out. Otherwise, of course, we'll still be on YouTube, just heavily edited. But other than that, let's get this episode, guys. I'm so excited. Here we go. Okay, so the guys one fatality and one left. Victim said to be in critical Frank, at you've reached Wes, Millstone and you're Nate, to be Asher. As you're coming back the second you get this. No, if she loses Asher, four episodes, five guys, so I'm, hap I'm guessing there's going to be two guys at the end in the final episode in the mid-season finale. And that's how they're going to reveal it. <coughs> oh, that was a cool no, transition. Lying, that's funny. So you lied to me instead. You shot Mahoney while Wes was standing right there. Mm. Why? What, you didn't? Somebody else just happened to shoot him? <coughs> it was me. It's a confession. You think we can take this to the police? That Frank won't tell them everything that we've yeah. done to Sam? Uh, what about what Frank did to Sam? <laughs> Frank's trying to free me for this. Maybe someone should kill him. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, you shit. Him. <laughs> I did this for you, Annalise. No, you did it for yourself. Annalise, please. After Annalise. everything that I've done for you. Annalise. What? The police are at my apartment. Son of a bitch. What do we tell them? Why do they question him though? Like he is? Oh, the blood splatter on his face, the eyewitnesses, it wasn't him. Yeah, he went to the library. Why would he have blood yeah. splatter on his oh, face if the dude was shot from oh, really far away? Don't worry, okay? It's all gonna be fine. I'm sure he's gonna be. <laughs> he you talked too much. Be fine. This is he didn't you gave do the anything to make you a suspect. No. Yeah. Don't stop defending him. He thinks that we're gonna tell the police he killed Mahoney. This is his way of hitting back. Hmm. I don't think so. You take another step and I'll chain you in the basement like we're <laughs> I hope he doesn't die, but I don't want any of them to die. The only person I'd be fine with dying is Loki Nate, not gonna lie. <laughs> Isn't this song like really racist? Your bae, your BF, A1 since day one. Says who? Um, I sleep here every night with a mountain duty in the dorm. Because you're too lazy to go home after sex. Ah, you still stop. think I'm a meat stick? Is there a square dance going on? Is Michaela finally teaching us how to <laughs> do dough? We're <laughs> done. Good for him. I'll spoon you, buddy. You two just break up. She treats him like shit. Are you at least having Eve look into this? She couldn't find out anything. Can Nate? We're not gonna ask him to clean up our mess anymore. We're not gonna ask my exes for help. Thought you'd run off to Mexico to be with Frank by now. <laughs> and submit to random alcohol testing. We also expect to see a change in your conduct. Ethical violations. Intimidation of witnesses. Harassment of opponents. Sure. Misleading judges. Being so they got her under any criminal act. Oh, just to be us. clear, I have never been formally charged with a criminal act. Did you call Frank? Tell him good news. Fight, fight. You have something to get off your chest? I think I just did. <laughs> All the problems blew up the minute you got your little crush on Rebecca. You have no idea what goes on in this house. What does that mean? I only said no, we're not supposed to talk about that. Why? You're afraid one of us will out you and you get expelled? Leave. <laughs> there she goes, chewing up and spitting up man. Good morning! <laughs> Anyone with a good strategy. He kept bugging us about making out. I just thought he was one of those straight guys who watches too much porn. The victim was unarmed when our client sliced his neck open like a bagel. Oh, fuck. It was a rescue mission. I was guarding the Humvee when I got attacked from behind. That's probably the best idea. And Matt and put me into a chokehold. Started bashing my head into the ground. Mr. Drake, you'll be doing the cross on the victim. I'll need your prep. He deserves it for this tonight. one, though. That's a good idea. Come watch me and Mr. Drake kick ass in court tomorrow. Hopefully, he's going to develop as a character. I would never presume to know what a woman of your talents can and cannot handle. Nor would I ever. This bitch is so hot and cold. Sobriety anywhere on this campus. He was absent from class today. Okay. I'll check in with this oh, other professor's then. I'm afraid she's gonna lose her license again for covering up all this stuff. And they think Wes shot him. 
His father. Biological father. Did they not look at the crime scene and do an autopsy? You can tell how far someone was shot from. Also, how the f*** would he have blood splatter like that if he was that close to him? He was shot from far away and the blood splatter was like... If he had shot him, the blood splatter would not go where it was. You'll get through this. I'm not sure Frank gave them was his name. He wouldn't want to make things worse between you two. This is just him saving his own ass, Bon. I came back to be with you. Because we want to, because they wouldn't have you. Well, she did record the conversation, and that was obviously before he left, so she chose to do that. I guess they're kind of even now. And at least for releasing the information about what happened to Bonnie and her with her dad, and then now what bon Bonnie's sleeping with Frank for what Frank did to Annalise. Do you just hate us all? Do you want us all to go to jail? Is that the kind of guy you really are? If you did this, I'll never forgive you. I mean, she's trying to get him to call her back, clear things up. I'm afraid he's gonna kill himself or something. He can't sit with us. Are you serious? Stop keeping secrets and maybe we'll get your privileges back. Oh, there he <laughs> is, our first chair. You ready to fail like your dad's condom? You need to sit right there. I just want to be ready to replace you after you crash and burn. Oh, you came to watch me kick your yeah. colleague's ass. No, actually, to kick your ass. She took the knife out of her pocket, grabbed me. I thought she was joking until I saw the blood. How many drinks had you had before you approached my client? Three or four Also, years. that's alleged that someone pushed him into her. Not that that's not unheard of at a club. Was the music so loud that you couldn't hear my client repeatedly tell you to leave her alone? Objection calls for speculation. How long did ADA Act would spend coaching you on your testimony Objection today? Objection counsel is clearly trying to impeach Can you shut the up? Sustained. Give me a second. <laughs> Danny was working a desk job on the day she claimed she was attacked in Afghanistan. The oh, whole defense is based on a lie. Most of the time I was over there, I had to file all the injury and casualty reports. How soldiers remained. How they died. Okay, so you still made it up. We have to tell the judge. No. It's if they find for out, me it's to even put worse. you on that stand and perjure yourself. Then tell me what to do. You're the reason that everything good in our lives is gone. Frank did this. No, you did this the minute that you killed Sam. If you say anything to the police, I'm not if you it. mention my name to the police, what are you gonna do? I swear to God, I will kill you. <laughs> okay, so everything's his fault, but you're willing to kill him for it. And that makes you any better. Come on, man. Such a backwards way of thinking. You got a case with it right now, so I'm here for me. Edward and I are seeing each other. You f***ing traitor. <laughs> Waited f***ing two days. Who's Thomas? Uh, no one. It's just a stupid internet date. Well, well. Who? I what? threatened to kill him. You're all mean girls. You literally put posters up all over the school saying that Annalise was a killer, but like, okay, they're mean girls. You don't want to turn Frank in. Don't be stupid. You still care about I him. I lost a child because of him. What? Father caused it. Frank helped him. Damn. I took you off the wait list. I should have left you alone. Why didn't you? She had a second chance. I wanted to be a better person. He's a son to her. Well, I was fine with you hooking up with half of Philadelphia. That's because I was honest about it. Maybe too honest, but you're hiding things from me. You are overreacting. No, you know what? Answer me this. Why even go on a date if the whole reason we broke up was because you said that you needed time alone? Yeah, seriously. Connor, we broke up. Okay. So yeah, I think he fucking knows see that. Other people. But it's bullshit. Like, tell him the truth. I need your help at court. Miss Keating, Aww. are you ready to begin? I was on a rescue mission for aid workers in Afghanistan, guarding a Humvee when I got attacked from behind. A combatant put me in a chokehold, started hitting my head. This is urgent, man. I heard you. Oh, is Bonnie gonna do the legal stuff for her? I was in that moment all over again. That's when everything went black. She was working a desk job on the day that she says she was attacked. 
Had I known that, I would never have asked her to take the stand. Judge, please. This is Miss Keating's attempt to get a mistrial. No, the Pennsylvania bar requires me to inform you of this perjury. Is that what your honor would prefer? Oh, sure. I am too much for you. No, you're not. I am. I'm dragging you into things you don't deserve. No. Yeah, you don't know the half of it. I love you. You should go. Oh, shit. Please, I can't do this anymore. If he loves her, though, like, this ain't the life for her, you know? Plead guilty to misdemeanor reckless endangerment, and they forego a new trial. So it all worked. You didn't let me finish. You have to agree to Veterans Treatment Court. I'll be kicked out of the reserves. Would you rather go to prison? No, but I don't have a substance abuse problem. You told me you needed help. Oh, my gosh. This is your chance to get better. Yeah. Take it. And a lot of there's cases like this too where it's like you, they didn't necessarily win but they also didn't lose. I feel like I'm watching Frank kiss Oliver. I don't want to see this. I want him with Connor. Before we go inside, who said I was going inside? Oh my, wow, that's embarrassing. I just thought that I wanted to get you naked. Till date number two. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. He better not react badly when he finds out. I kind of wish he had told him right there. Hotel bar was a genius idea. Heidi couldn't even finish her second drink before she was begging me to come upstairs. Did you come all the way here just to tell us that you got laid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why? Is that weird? I am your boyfriend, Michelle. Who do you think you are? Telling me you're my boyfriend when we've never talked about that. Because you only are using me for sex. We're using each other for sex. What's offensive is you making me your woman like we're cave people. Okay, fine, you're not my woman, you're my family. What? <sighs> not in the gross <laughs> way. Stop, she was not expecting that. You're all he you know, has left. Family. It's not that big a deal. He could be your family. I'm not talking about this with you. Hey. If she fucking loses him, I want to be there for you, Michaela. After this, no, you want me to be there for you like every other guy who screwed you. Like me if over. he dies, do you like me too? Whatever. No. What should I say? Uh, yeah, you need to say it. I like you too. <laughs> there we go. Finally. Is he talking to the police by himself? Shit. Oh God. What are you doing? You're my witness, okay? But I destroyed this. Wes, no! You think I want to protect Frank? Yeah. Don't you? <laughs> no. You knew where he was and you didn't tell me. Who am I here with right <laughs> now, Wes? You, not Frank. I'm just saying I get it. If you still worry about him, that's fine. Kiss. Kiss. I'm not in love with Frank. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. Say it. Bitch, say it. <gasps> oh, the baby is totally f***ing hers. I mean his. <laughs> well. Aww. Look at how hot they are together, though. Oh, shit. Dude, the baby is totally his. <laughs> Turns me on. I like you. <laughs> the baby is totally fing his. Which I'm fing here for. I love them two together. Use the bathroom at the Wawa. Connor! Cool, bro. You guys have to see this. Sources confirm that Wallace Mahoney's own son is currently being held without bail, charged with first degree murder. Wait. He turned himself in. No. No, she's with him. Or did he leave? <gasps> no, I don't think... He didn't know he did it. He's there. Yeah. 
Police have just it's the other side. The identity of the suspect in custody is in fact Charles yeah. Mahoney. I was gonna say that because I that didn't even cross my mind that it would be Wes. The oh, arrest shit. Was made earlier this evening after authorities found the suspected murder weapon, an unregistered Remington 2020 in his car. Yeah, because why would Frank turn Wes in when he could frame it on someone else, you know? What does this mean? Please let Frank come home. We're safe now. Okay, until you find out in a fucking hour that it's not Wes. Oh! Oh shit, like it's so bittersweet. What? He's drunk. Annalise called you? When you were with your mom, she asked us to come over. So it really did. She asked everybody to come over? Wait, Annalise, I swear to... If Annalise... No, Annalise wouldn't do it. This show's good at, like, making us think that Annalise did something and then she didn't do it. I don't believe that for a second. Can I just say, I told Niles on the phone, I was like, I guarantee you the episode title is Someone Really Dead. I guarantee you it's one of the boys at the end. He, like, comes up to the crime scene or comes up to somebody and says, is someone really dead? It's exactly what happened. I called it. It's so bittersweet finding out that another person is alive because it's just one person closer to someone dying. And it's breaking my heart. So, okay, so we've got... Connor, Wes, Nate, and Frank left. There's three episodes, four people, and I'm guessing the last episode is for two people, so that, that way it does, obviously doesn't give it away before the final episode. I'm nervous. Okay, the, the baby is 100% Wes's, because now that they slept together, I highly doubt she's going to sleep with Frank again, especially after she just said I'm not in love with Frank. Oh my god. This was another really good episode. Um, I like that fake out that they did at the end, making it seem like Wes turned himself in, but it was just... Charles Mahoney's other son that had been framed by Frank and I like how Bonnie was just like he just wants to come home because if you think about it like why would Frank frame Wes especially if he's trying to right his wrongs and do these things like for them why would he frame Wes why would he frame someone that he knew you know you know what I mean like you would want to do somebody that's really far away from the case if anything and I'm glad that he's like st trying to right some of his wrongs it doesn't it's not doesn't make it go away. It doesn't change anything, but he is trying to right some of the wrongs, and you gotta respect that. Because uh, I really do want to see him and Bonnie get together, but like in a healthy way, because I feel like they match each other really well. And I don't know. I feel like they'd be really good together. I really like that Asher stood up to Michaela this episode and kind of was just like, I don't want to be your meat stick. I want more, and if you can't give me that, then I'm leaving. And he did, and it didn't last for very long, but it was enough that. He said, like, I want to know you. I want to get to know you. I don't have a family anymore. You're my family. And it was just so nice. And the fact that she's like, oh, I don't have family either. Like, it's fine. And But he's like, well, it doesn't have to be that way. I, I can be your family. It's just <laughs> beautiful. I didn't think I would ever like them two together because they're the most random pairing ever. But I actually really do like them together. And they're, they're just really, really good together. And they really even each other out. And it was so bittersweet when she found him at the end and he was alive because... Obviously, I want Asher to live, but at the same time, like I said, it's just another person closer to finding out who died. And really, I feel like I don't want any of them to die, but Nate would probably be the only person that'd be fine with dying. I am not going to be fine with Connor, Wes, or Frank dying. It'd probably be like Nate and then maybe Frank, but then Wes would be like the last person. No, I don't want Connor to die either. I, Wes and Connor, I feel like, are tied. But it's going to be awful finding out who dies. Um... I liked the case. I liked that it didn't really have a happy ending. It wasn't bad, but it like also wasn't a good ending. She didn't get what she wanted because she lied and because there really was no rhyme or reason why she had slit knife knife this guy's throat. And good on Annalise for telling the truth and trying to do things by the book for once. And whether or not she's doing that because she thinks it's the right thing to do or because she doesn't want to lose her license, it doesn't matter. She still did the right thing. And I think that that's, that's a good step in the right direction. Um, I hated that Connor was blaming Wes for everything that's ever gone wrong in their lives. Like, I get it. I get where that he's coming from. But at the same time, a lot of that stuff could have happened or unfolded in a different way. 
but like still had the same outcome, you know? It just maybe they weren't wouldn't have been directly involved. But blaming him for everything that's ever happened is just so unfair. And whether or not like it just, but like it's not like he directly put you guys in the situation. Rebecca would have been killed by Sam and maybe all of you guys would have gotten killed by Sam after he was finished. So it's, I don't know. I just think that's really unfair. And I hate when the group fights and they're not okay with each other, but it's what keeps it interesting. I seriously love Wes and Laurel together. I really, really hope it's his baby. It has to be his baby, but I'm really excited to see the rest of the season unfold and get more answers. Uh, they dropped us with like kind of a bomb at the end when Asher said that Annalise called them all to meet up at her house. Why would she call them to meet up at her house and then all of a sudden the house catches on fire and someone's dead? That's a little bit weird. So, I don't know. I was thinking, like, maybe it is Wes, but, which is why Laura was there. So, like, that would make sense, obviously, because they're hooking up and they're in love with each other. But then, if she called them there, it could be anybody. So, I don't know. But I cannot wait to figure out some answers and find out why it caught on fire and who did it um I have a feeling it wasn't Annalise because they always try to point the fingers at Annalise but it's never Annalise um that would be cool like for a change though if they did make it Annalise one time I feel like that'd be make, make it really interesting but yeah I really enjoyed this episode I would give it like an 8.5 out of 10 it wasn't my favorite but that ending was awesome but I think that is pretty much it I will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching